TikTokers, please listen closely. Paul, Saul of Tarsus, was sent to us by the Lord Jesus Christ. Read the first chapter of Galatians. He was taught in the Arabian desert by the Lord, and the Holy Spirit was sent him out on his first missionary journey from Antioch of Assyria. Paul completed his mission, revealing the mystery, faith in Christ, unto mature saints. Uh, when you find the word perfect, it belongs to the Lord, the only human being on earth, tempted in all ways, yet without sin. And El Yan, El Father, is perfect, the Creator. Through Christ the Son, extension of self if you can get that one that will clear up a lot of things god extended himself in power and authority and of glory but a small amount but still great enough to open blind eyes and do miracles and wonders it was a reduced power but the power is still greater in satan satan has power God's power, glory, light, is greater than Satan. Colossians 1.24, and the five words before it, I, Paul, became a minister. Now I rejoice in my sufferings for you, the chosen, elect, called out, saint sons and daughters. Uh, suffering for your sake, and in my flesh I complete what is lacking in Christ's afflictions for the sake of his body that is not church, it's assembled or assembly, the saint sons. Sons is not a gender, it's a banner of maturity. Hope you got that one. 25, of which I became a minister according to the divine office which was given unto me, Paul, Saul, or Saul, Paul of Tarsus, for you to make the word of God fully known. It was Paul's job to make the word of God fully known by writing it down in 13 plus 1 letters for a total of 14. To make the word of God fully known, 26, the mystery, and we have the mystery again down in 27. So we've got the mystery twice for a true witness. And between Galatians and Colossians, excuse me, we have mystery more than locked in major doctrine four times. Fully known, the mystery hidden from ages and generations, but now made manifest unto the saints. Holy hallowed, saint, sanctified, set apart. The spirit sanctifies you. The word sanctifies you. I won't say what I was just going to say. For them God chose to make known how great among the Gentiles, that's you and I, all nations excluding Israel that loves. And Israel that loves is different than Judaism, the religion. Israel that loves their Messiah are the riches of the glory of this mystery. We got mystery twice here, 24 and 27. I am reading a 1952 Revised Standard. You can find these with yellow pages. They were created in 1952. Gentiles, 
are the riches of the Gentile, uh, of the glory of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Maturity. And if you read on, you find the word maturity in this Bible. It's an excellent study Bible to put beside your favorite reading Bible. It's in the top four accurately translated from Greek Septuagint Bibles. It was not popular in sales. It, there were many areas of debate by Bible scholars, but they were truth. It's just they were contrary to King James Version of 1611. And you know that there were eight or nine other English translated Bibles prior to King James, 80 to 100 years before uh, the German printing press and Martin Luther, uh, the breaking away from Catholicism and the word written in Latin. The word was being written in your native language so the common man could read for himself and the Holy Spirit minister to the Holy Spirit Man without the Holy Spirit, his heart and mind is evil and wicked. But you can be washed, made clean, and pure conscience and heart mind by the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. Did you get, did you hear that? Washed inside your mind heart, your spirit soul, your conscience can be made pure, clean, washed, clear conscience, pure conscience, clean conscience. Pure and clean and pure are in the scriptures. Love you at seven minutes. Wow, I thought I was going to use up the full ten. Hey, TikTok, whatever happened to five minutes? Love you. Bye. Bernard Eugene Beringer Jr., and three other aliases. I have over 500 teachings out there. You can <laughs> find me by the big nose. And, and I'm not Jewish. I'm an uncircumcised Gentile. And that's the truth. <laughs> what was her name? Uh, was it Laugh-In? Oh, boy. I'm, I'm aging myself. Yes, I am aged. I'm, uh, like Paul said, a uh, the aged one. Yes, aged one. In fact, I think I outlived Paul by uh, five years or more. Love you. Bye.